Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to World of Warcraft. Ruin Dragon Hide, a bit more skinning. There we go, professional expert. We've got our skinning up to level 225, that is fantastic. And finally, i got another hide. I need lots more, uh, lots more. I need a lot more of them. Uh, we are going to need a lot more hides than what we've got at the moment. I need to go on, how far do I need to go? Oh, I've actually gone all the way back to... No, oh, I'm down here. I missed it ever so slightly. I was slightly off course. There it is. Right. There is the, the thing that I need. If you could, like, take this dude down a second. There. I will dig this one up. Yes, ten fragments right there. And he's now out. Uh-oh. It's a big nasty dragon flying overhead. It makes me very, very nervous. Oh, we got Fain Death and we've got other things like that. So, um, yeah, we, we, we do have to be a little bit careful with those sorts of things. So we're halfway through the dig site and that is only a yellow. So that means it's reasonably close by. We'll run up the hill over here and we'll have to take on right i think it's going to be around here somewhere so we'll quickly take this dude down here's evan well uh, as soon as he is down there we go like that take him and skin him excellent and then check our survey says over here gotta be a little bit there he is right there's number four there it is there it is and next one we've got right he's all the way back over this way it, this this could be anywhere really so we're going we'll, we'll avoid combat for a second and run all the way back over this side right the way down here i i still need to get four more of the um whelp stealers okay i i went a little bit too far there Take out this weapon, uh, weapon elk right here. I'll take out the weapon elk, and we'll probably try and take out an ebon whelp while we're at it. Um, so there's that one, dragon spang, and do that. And then I might as well take a look right here, see where it is. Need to go further still. So now we're heading over this way. I have no idea where we. Need oh, there, right, okay. Down here. Ah, ah, where is there? Right. That was number five. I've got one more that I need to get, and that is... I keep pressing the wrong button there. That is over this way. We've got somewhere just over this side. It's the very last one. We'll take out that ebon whelp there. We'll have a look here on the edge of the lake. Right here. See if this is where it is. Because obviously, you know, it's, it's fossils, so they... They could actually turn up anywhere, but along the edge of the lake, where the water has sort of eroded it away a bit, that, that sort of seems like the most likely place for a fossil to turn up, surely. Uh, maybe not. Go on a bit more, then. Over here. I reckon it's going to end up being one that we've done before. There's a whelp stealer over there. I'll go and get him. We, we've got the four of those that we want to take out. But those are minor details compared to getting all of these fossils. There. Put that bit. Now let's have a look. Yes! Almost right on top of it. Look at that. Nicely done. And there is another dig site complete. We'll worry about looking at what we've got in the dig site in just a minute. So there's the elk. The, the elk? The elk. They're not elks. They're whelps. I keep calling them elks. <laughs> I don't know why. That's a very strange thing to do. Quite sure why I'd be doing that. Um, Welp Stealer there, and I want to get that one down as well. So I'm going to do that, then I'll activate that, and then I will use the um, dot on it so that it reduces down our cooldown a little bit. There we go, and then there's that one. Two of those. I need two more of them. Let's just skin this little dude down here. Could you, like, stay away? Evan Slaver. So what are you doing then? you got the slave hunters here, and then you've got the, the whelp hunters here. Which, who, I, I don't know which ones is good and which ones is bad for the poor little dragons. I kind of feel sorry for the... They see, the dragons seem to be caught in the middle of it all. I feel a bit sorry for them, really. Right, they, they, they seem to have just gotten a bit of bad luck with this of late. 
having everything here on top of them. And use the old Chimera shot like that. And then the Bestial Rat. The damage we can do as a hunter is brilliant. I'm absolutely loving the damage that we can do as a hunter. And if I've left... Okay, the other one we've left behind. We want to run back over here and then... Uh, let's have a look. What did we get? Another working note. Archaeology in here. And fossils. We got 53 out of 30. So we got one. Solve that one. What's the next one? We want the mount one. Ugh. Strange velvet worm will be our next fossil that we're able to get. Uh, let's have a look in here. We've got a shard of petrified wood. I'm pretty sure that is one that we have already done. Current completed shard of petrified wood. Right there. Completed three times we've done that one. So that's one that we've already done a, a, a number of times. We're, we're not going to worry about that one for a minute. Um, where's our next dig? All the way up there. Kelithian Lodge dig site. Northern Eastern Plaguelands. Possibly that will be our next one. Or we'll take a trip down here and try and get some of them. I don't really know. I think that we need to have a little bit of a rest for a minute. I just wanted to check the stuff on here, but I see this mount over here, which looks actually pretty cool. This is Gmod. I have no idea what Gmod is, and also, just before I logged into the game, I've got... I've been awarded another mount. The Steam Scale Incinerator. Because I purchased my World of Warcraft subscription in six-month blocks, they gave me this... I just got a random message saying that I get this one because I... Uh, purchase six months of game time. So I don't know what this one is. Uh, I've got to post it on Discord, but the guild got another achievement last week. Master Pandaria Crafter, 500 epic items. Ooh, nice. With an item level of at least 116. That is absolutely fantastic. Nice one. Okay, so we've got another guild achievement in there. But anyway, we, we want to open up this one a minute. And that right there is the Steam Scale. Uh, uh, well, first up, I want to go to Set Favorite. And then I'm going to go to Mount. Steam Scale Incinerator right here. Look at this thing. It's a giant mechanical dragon. Now, I can't actually fly it in this zone because I don't have flying. All right. All I can do is... <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, that is fantastic. Look! Oh, I love this thing. Oh, this is brilliant. This is absolutely brilliant. Look at him go. Sparks and everything. Oh, th this is a fantastic mount. I like this one. Um, Right, let's get a little bit close to the table. View completed mission right there. With 195% chance of being able to make this one work. And I have got the bonus. Right, so we've got Champions of Azeroth, uh, Rep 225 and 225 right there. So it just boosted us, boosted us up a little bit. I've got 18 war resources. This one right here is three days. That is Time Warp Badges, which could be nice. We can get some polished pet charms there for doing more pet battle stuff. Uh, there's money on those two. Seventh Legion or Order of Embers reps. Uh, this one is 50. I suspect they are all out of my price range. I don't think there are any you can do unless you've got garrison resources. And I have no garrison resources. Which is a little bit of a jolly nuisance. So I can go and get the Tushui monks that we've got right there. But I can't do anything else. So let's go and check our... You know what? Let's not use that one. Let's go and use our brand new Steam Scale Incinerator right here. You can have it right there. But you can't actually click on this to mount it. Right? i, I got to go over here. So I want to mount that one. Steam Scale Incinerator. Enhance your mounts with mount equipment. I still haven't done that. There's something that we need to do. I need to have a look at what mount equipment is available. I know you can get water walking because they removed the ability for water walking on the as, on the water striders. Be, um, and that was why. that They removed the ability for the water striders to walk on water because they've added in this mount equipment thing. There's a load of strange dust to come back. There's some fell iron ore to come back. And a tiny crimson whelpling to come back. A successful strange dust. 
I obviously didn't list another flying mount because I don't have that one here. I thought I listed another flying mount. Obviously forgot all about that because we sold the flying mount. We did sell one that we had. Um, yeah, I obviously just didn't have enough room for that one. Uh, right. Well, anyway, we will deal. We will get another flying mount and we'll do that. I can jump as we run along here. I've got a flying mount somewhere. So strange dust in here at the moment is 14 gold. That's way more than um, what we try to sell it for. 19 gold for those five. I actually want to try and get 25 gold for the fell iron ore. So I will buy those five right there. Actually, you know what? Uh, I want to buy five of those. No, click on that bit like that there. So I buy the other four there. Right, buy those up. Get them done and fell iron bars at the moment 70 gold a pop and then the crimson weltlings is 9500 for that one this one's 42 grand which is just obscene I, we're not looking to get that kind of money for it we're, you, we're not gonna get that kind of money for it we know that that's not gonna happen so just grab that little tiny bit of fell iron ore right there and then we can run back over to the auction and sell right in here so i want to go to you max like that i want to put that on 48 hours and i want you to be on 25 gold a pop like that so i got 235 of them at 25 gold hopefully that will go nice now 14 gold no way but i'm hoping i can get five gold a pop for the strange dust we'll have to see uh did i just list all of that correctly I did 48 hours. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, collected four gold. So I only sold one bit of strange dust. One single solitary piece of strange dust is what I sold last time. Tiny crimson whelpling right there. That's 42,000. I'm going to go 12,500 for this one. And I, I'm still not holding much hope that it's actually going to shift. But we, we can hope. We can live in hope. Perpetual hope is what we live in. Now, do I have another flying mount? I do, right there. Flying machine, already known. 6,498 they're currently listed at. I was going for 5,000 gold a pop. So that's what I'm going to go for right here. 5,000 gold, and I'm going to leave it at that. Right, that is everything that I wanted to do there. We would like... Ah, oh, this is so cool. I love this mount. I really do. This thing is absolutely fantastic. Um, yeah, we got uh, a shipping contract right there. That's the one that we already read. We read through that. We want to be going to Freehold next. That's that's uh, just Terrath. No, uh, Harbour Master Cyrus to set sail. No, Reddit. You have their orders. Dowsing the flames. Use a water bucket to put out the flames around Brennerdam. No. The War Chief's orders, no, we don't want to do that. Send a fleet. No, that's the uh, departed. That's to do with the Nazjatar stuff. 100 large Azerite yeah, grenades. Hat smooth talking won't get us into freehold, so I'm thinking explosives. The hat and the smooth talk, and I haven't actually done that quest on this one. So this is the quest that we need to do. Is this one right here. There. That's the one we're looking to do. So we need to head off and go and do that. Before I do, I'm just going to ditch a few of these items. I got rid of a load of stuff. I got Plunderbeard's flask right here, which I don't actually remember picking up. But it's got a nice it increase your primary stat by a thousand on use. So it's not an equip. It is a use one. It's a cooldown one. But it'll do nicely. So we'll have that one and we'll add it into our list of little thingies that we want to put in, in here. So I need to swap that one and that around like that. So I've got another cooldown on there and then we've got our heals. Which means that then I can go into here like this. And that one, the Gale Wind Chimes, we can scrap that one. Just get rid of that one right there. That's given... Ooh. They gave us Expulsum. Not too shabby. I don't mind if we have another little slice Greetings, of Expulsum. Wanderer. 
And then these items here, I've actually got full stacks of these. I don't think I need to get, like, saberfish broth and grilled saberfish and stuff like that in order to be able to make... May the mists protect you. ...other things. Flask of demon blood. You know, I'm not even sure what that one's for. We'll have a quest here somewhere. Uh, but no, cooking right here. If I've got grilled saberfish, are any of these other ones... Do I need to, like, mix a load of them up? Mix a load of them up? The grilled saberfish is there. Fat sleeper cakes, meat dishes. But then you've got the feasts up here. Feast of the waters. Doesn't require already... I'm wondering if it requires cooked pieces that I've already... Oh, it does. Fiery calamari rilac crepes in order to be able to put them together. So do I need something that has got grilled saberfish or saberfish broth? Uh, skulker chowder right there. Sleeper surprise. No. Talador surf and turf. No. Doesn't need any of them. And then these in here... I don't need any of them in there. We can make the fiery calamari, things like that. So if I go there and I search saberfish broth, saberfish broth right there. So I've got the grilled saberfish, just gets made. The broth just gets made. And there's nothing else that actually requires it. It's just the saberfish flesh. Um, so in order to properly check that that one does come up, black rock ham. Uh, grilled gulper. Let's, let's, uh, well, I tell you, let's go with ham. It does actually come up. Right, black rock ham, and then it comes up with that one because it's a, a, an ingredient. Okay, so I proved that that hasn't come up. I want to go in here, and again, the saber fish. So if I just put in saber in there and I go to unlearned, I've got nothing in there that's unlearned, so I can get rid of them. Hello. That's all I'm going to do is I just want to check that I can ditch those without having gotten rid of anything important. The Flask of Demon Blood. Walter has got one charge left. He sells terrible food. Engineering workshop. Uh, bank, uh, bank access. I've only got There's one no use left on him, but that's, that's fine. I don't need to worry about that. Anyway, I've, I've rabbed it on for far too long. We have a quest that we need to go and do. We need to head out of this zone right here. Or just this area right here. We need to get up there. I've got a flight point over there that I can go to. I haven't unlocked any of this on this character. I haven't done any of it. So we're gonna it's gonna be a little bit more tricky getting all the way Lord over there. Admiral's favor, friend. We still better do it. That's the closest I can get is the Proudmore Keep flight point. Well, I thought I'd unlock one here. No. Right, well, we'll fly over here a second. And from here, we want to go for a bit of a wander. We'll go back up that way and then along Mariner's Row and up this track up here is where we want to get to. So I need to go back down the hill down here. I don't know how far up this way I need to go. I, I think I need to go right... I, I, well, I don't, I don't know if I go up onto the wall and go a lot. I don't think I do. But there's a flight point there that I haven't picked up. So I need to go over this way. And it's where those horses are going in right there. That's where we need to go. We need to go in through here is where we want to go. So somewhere around here in Mariner's Row, there is another flight point. But I don't know where it is. It'll be around here somewhere. Uh, who are you? You're wag Wagon Repairs. What, what have you got? Let me show you what I've got. Let me show you what I've got. Uh, no, right, there's nothing, nothing special on there. And there is the flight point. But how do I get to you? Up here? No, not up there. How do I get up to the flight point? It's up on the top somewhere. Um. Ooh, maybe up that way. No. Yes. Well, I can. I, I could go up the stairs that were right in front of me. But it's over here. There's the flight point that I want. Right. So we've now got another flight point right there. And then this is the wall. Just the, the, the city boundary right here. There's a chest. Right over there. That's actually inside that area, isn't it? 
That's it. it in a Stormsong Monastery, but it's inside the area there. I, I shouldn't be going over this way. This is, this is like, uh, I'm getting sidetracked by going in here. But I'm going to do it anyway. I want to I wanna get that chest, wherever it is. Is it... Is it right in here? It's not in that bit. It must be in here. Probably, is it in the building or is it... No, it's it's got to be around here. It's, it's got to be around here somewhere. Right, okay, let's let's take this lot out. Let's see how good we are. Uh, we've got our extra bits. I can put that one down. I can pop down all of my cooldowns like this. And I can wallop them down nice and hard. Okay. <laughs> We're doing some beautifully insane amounts of damage right here. Look how quickly we're taking these guys down. Oh, this is fantastic. Oh, that is so much better than what we were doing before. That is so much better. Right, the chest is not here. It's not up there. I'm assuming then it must be inside. I, I didn't think it was inside, but it, it appears that it is inside here somewhere. Uh, it's not in this room. It's either down here. With the, ah, there it is, right in front of the occultist. Okay, we will take this one out, and then we can get that chest, and then we'll head back over, and we'll, we'll go and do what we're supposed to do, which is get 100 large Azrite grenades. We then got to get all the way over to Freehold, which is somewhere that we haven't been before on this character, and do all the stuff in it. We got some nice stuff in there. We had some nice stuff in there. What do we get? We got two Tortolan Pilgrimage Scrolls, We've got a jeweled spyglass of soulbound. We've got a shipment of bottle of soulbound as well. It's 18 gold and 16 gold for those two. Uh, you can go. Someone chuck that at me. You only get one of them. Um, and then that's it. Right, the Tortolan thingies. I'm just going to stand here and we'll, we'll do those. Am I going to actually get any? I doubt it. I, I don't usually. There's one. I've got an actual pilgrimage scroll and another. Another pilgrimage scroll. My luck on getting the duplicate scrolls is absolutely appalling I'm, st I'm still 17 short on that and almost every single one of those has come through the generosity of people in the guild posting them to me rather than me getting them myself and one thing I did mean to do with the um uh, the who's me call it the, the, the what's me the, the what's me shapes um when I was over at the auction house I meant to check for mount gear that was something i wanted to have a look at so i'm actually going to go lord back admiral's there favor, friend. lord admiral's favor friend trade winds market Keep regard sound. i'm going to go back over there and i am going to go to the auction house and i am going to have a look at what we can enhance our mounts with what mount equipment is available you've got a water walking one there's definitely one of those but i don't know what the other ones are i don't know i don't know what else we got available i mean if i have a look in engineering i don't think that there is actually any i guess it would be unlearned i don't think there is any mount things scopes mount mounts and pet supercharged engine Monolite reinforced chassis, supercharged engine to create a, a Zywilag ATV. This is a very fast mount. Oh, very cool. Okay. Combine a monolite reinforced chassis and a supercharged engine. Where's the monolite reinforced chassis come from? Monolite fish finder, Azurite of focus. Tools of the trade. A, a monolite reinforced chassis. Where do you get that from? Zywilag ATV. I've got Expulsum for making this. The insulated wire, the chemical blasting caps, those are nothing. So getting that wouldn't be an issue. Monolite reinforced. This is this is in our unlearned stuff here. Mechantula. Find one equipped. It's had a summon. Oh, that's a companion. So what about learned stuff? What learned stuff have I got? <laughs> not a lot, really. Not at the moment. Definitely not the bit that I was talking about there. So I, uh, what is this thing right here? Weapons, yada, 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 yada. Uh, Mecha Mogul Mark II teaches you how to pilot the Mecha. Mecha Mogul Mark I. The potential security floor in Mark I's... Oh, remote activation device. Uh, 
click on that. I don't know where I get that from. Bind on pickup. I guess I'd have to go and buy it, maybe. That's what I'm assuming, so I have to buy some of these bits so that we can go and make them. I don't know, there's a, there's a reinforced monolite summon or other there that we... I can't go and... I, I'm not going to be able to find it at the moment. We, we, we will need to go and, like, have a look, maybe see where that one's coming from. I don't know where it is at the minute, but I reckon it could be something pretty cool. And this is what I wanted. I wanted to go over to you, and I want to have a look. Trade goods, consumables, item enhancements, maybe. No... Miscellaneous. No, definitely not. Consumables. Vantus runes. Other. Uh, it is not. Here's his scrolls and stuff like that. Defiled augment rune. Codex of the Quiet Mind. Makeshift Azerite Detector. What's that? Equip a champion. Right, so it's not that. Jewel craft. There is a way that I can do this. I'm sure it's a it's a water walk or something like that. Let's try that. Drenic water walking elixir. Okay, so it's not water walking. Uh, maybe I could try mount. Is it under miscellaneous? Oh, mount equipment. There we go. Right, search mount equipment. We've got light step hoot plates. Increase your mount equipment slot. Uh, equip in there to increase your mount's ground speed by 20%. Faithful mount shoes to allow you to walk across water while mounted. Any damage will cancel the effect. Comfortable riders barding prevents you from being dazed while mounted. And the saddle shoot install an emergency parachute that will deploy when dismounted while high in the air. Does not work in battlegrounds or arena. So, basically, we've got a safety bit. We've got a um, able to run through any enemies without getting knocked off of our vehicle. Equip uh, the inflatable one so we can run across water, which is probably my favourite one to be honest. Or we've got the light step hoof plates, uh, which gives us an extra twenty percent speed. For this character, I actually think that one is probably the best one to go for. Light step hoof plates. I'm going to assume that this is not engineering gear. I'm going to assume it's blacksmithing stuff. For 1,870 gold. That's a lot of money that we're paying out for that. How much have we got? We have got 25,000, so we're probably going to be all right with that. Um, so if I search just hoof in here... Learned and unlearned, there's nothing. Right, it's not something that we can go and make, so that is almost definitely a different one, what do you call... Right, what's going on here? People are talking. Stay in bed, make sure to crack whip at Frith, don't let him slag off. Uh... <laughs> I'm not getting involved with that discussion. I'm not getting involved in the slightest. Now then, I want to go in here, collections like this, and I want to take that one and I want to equip it right there. And then I want this one, Steam Scale, because this one just looks really cool. And uh, mount that one there. Should be faster now. I, sh I should go faster. Increase ground speed by 10%. And I should actually go... Well, folks, that's all we got time for today. Even the mightiest heroes sometimes need a bit of rest, and we are far from the mightiest, so we're very, very tired. So if you've enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like, and if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.